You think you're doing the right thing, planning long-term for your future, but one Deer Park family is learning long-term care insurance isn't the safety net they thought it was. One viewer reached out to KPRC2 investigator Amy Davis for the answers to why his mother cannot get the help she needs, Amy. Yeah, it is beyond frustrating for this family. Viewer Jeff Yates contacted us for help trying to figure out why his mother was denied home health care on a long-term care policy she's been paying more than 20 years. Well, I'm just very, very disappointed. Mary Yates has always been independent, but at 83 and recovering from a broken pelvis, she now needs help doing everyday things. A former high school principal, Mary thought she prepared for this phase of her life decades ago. When I retired, I thought, well, the next step is my, my care when I'm older. And so I thought the thing to do is take out uh, long-term care. She's paid her monthly premiums without fail. Now $540 a month with Jackson National Life Insurance. But Mary and her son Jeff were shocked to learn her life insurance says she doesn't qualify for home health care. According to the policy, Mary says she does. It's two of the uh, activities of daily living that you cannot, if you cannot perform those, then you qualify for uh, care. A Jackson spokesperson told us the claim was denied because, quote, there is no evidence that the claimant's request for benefits satisfied the terms and provisions of coverage as described in the policy. Apparently, they don't believe that she's she needs us in home care that she's paid for for over the last 21 years. Mary first purchased the policy from USAA, but it has changed hands over the years. And people complaining to the Better Business Bureau about Jackson also say they didn't choose the company. I have seen many people in their complaints or reviews say that, you know, it, it used to be this and then it changed names or my insurance company sold all their contracts to this to Jackson, this company. Jackson has one out of five stars with the BBB. I'm so disappointed in this company. Let's let you hold up the end of your deal that we made. So a representative with Jackson National says Mary can appeal the decision and the Yates say they are going to get a letter from Mary's doctor confirming she is chronically ill before appealing. Now if you want to file a complaint about your insurance company, we put information on clicktohouston.com that explains exactly how you can do that and who to complain to. Plus you'll also find what to look for before you take out a long-term care policy. Lisa, Owen. A lot to think about there. Absolutely. Protect yourself obviously in the long run. Yeah.